your genetic data helps train medical AI that saves lives. Yep. But you never explicitly consented to this use. Has your agency been violated or extended? It's absolutely been violated. Keyword right there is consent. I never consented to the use. I think it's phenomenal, phenomenal to go and solve and cure diseases, right? Uh, with genetic information. But just ask me. Let me have the choice. Let me have the agency in the relinquishment of my data to go do this. Because then, otherwise, it just rolls up to 23 me. And who fucking cares about them? Nobody. It's really about you. It's about your empowerment and your information and your ability to interact through your choice and free will to go and solve those things. So absolutely, it's been violated. Second question. If bankruptcy courts treat your DNA data as a transferable asset, what other aspects of your information self might be commodified in the future? All of it. That's what I think. So this is one of the other things. You know, Tartle has established the first publicly traded marketplace for consumer data, where consumers have the ability to do this. And we're hoping in the future that there's a tax code around it. Now, if the bankruptcy court goes in and says that this is a transferable asset, that's a balance sheet item which can be depreciated. Now there's a tax code associated with mm -hmm. it that completely changes the dynamic here. And that means there's only going to be an increase in the want for this data itself. And the level of purchase is going to increase too because companies are going to want to depreciate that on their balance sheet. Mm -hmm. Who wouldn't do it? They already own so much of it. What a great way to save on taxes. Yeah, that, I mean, from an ROI standpoint. Number three, third question, this is a great one. In a world of increasingly sophisticated synthetic data, is there an ethical difference between using your actual genetic information and a statistically identical synthetic version? 